Hey guys, Westy here. Hey listen, um, if you're watching this, I'm guessing you've had a few problems setting up your uh, Pico Station M2 HP. Um, great little product set up by Ubiquiti. And um, yeah, I, I believe all the products, products are pretty good. But um, I've, uh, I've had a real good run out of mine. UBNT.com comes up with this stuff. Um, if you, you were dealing with the product I've been talking about, so we're going to go down and find the Pico Station. Just so that you've got that there as a reference when you um, go to you know, download stuff. One thing that's good to have though, if you, if you go to download software and click on applications and utilities, download the discovery tool for all platforms. Very, very good tool. Um, I've got it downloaded and I'll show you how to use it in another video. Um, but basically, so what you need to do to reset, I've already got it set up running as an AP, so I'm going to actually reset all my settings so it's back to standard. So what we want to do is go to uh, set reset to the system uh, tab and then go down the bottom and go to set to default go reset it asks you do you really want to reset yes we do yes reset okay now that's going to reset the unit back to factory standard okay now um, I've got my router plugged up to, into my, the black uh, power uh, power over the, over an ethernet box I've got uh, one lead going from that box to my um, M2 device with the little cover on um, the Pico station and the other the other end of it plugs from there into my router so that's uh, re resetting itself back to standard now so I'll just close that so that's going to time out and um, to log into it you need to go into 192.168.1.20 to get in, in there and the username is UBNT password is UBNT for the standard unit Okay, we'll see if we can get back in there again. Yep. Okay, so it's it's actually set right back to standard. How do I know that? Because everything's it doesn't even know what country I'm from, what language, so you can select your language, country, all that sort of stuff. So the username is UBNT, password is UBNT. Select your country. Um, I'm in New Zealand and agree with the terms to the use and log in okay so we're back to a standard unit so first thing to do which is a good idea is change the username and password to whatever you like so um, oh, in this case I'll just use pico1 and click on the little um, uh, spy glass here or magnifying glass to change the password actually the current password you put UBNT and then change the bottom one to whatever you want okay and then go down the bottom uh, down here and click change What I've done on my other router is I've set it up, I've, you can do it two ways, you can set it up, so I'm, I'm going to set this up as an access point, so that means I've got my wireless device, I've, I'm running two wireless devices, I've got a router with a wireless system on it, and I've got kids, and they use that network, but I want to be able to turn that network off when I want, and how I want, but still want to be able to access the, net, the, the network, so I've actually set up an access point using the Pico station, um, and that will allow me to still use the internet. Um, I call it the adults one, <laughs> the uh, the big people's uh, wireless network. So I've set up two different networks. Um, and what I've done is I'll, I'll show you what, how I've configured my router um, so that I can get in there. Okay, so I'll go into setup. I've actually reserved an IP address and I've actually moved the um, uh, I've reserved an IP address for the uh, Pico station. Okay, I've got my DHCP um, server enabled. This is in my um, actual router that I'm using, my internet 
router that's got the uh, internet interface on it. Um, this is just a normal DSL router. Um, enable DHCP and I've started mine at 20 and finishing at 253 on the 192.168.1 network. Um, and I've got a reservation list here. I've enabled my, I've got my, Peter, my Pico station here enabled and I've got that set up as reserved at 1.20. So in saying that, um, log out. Good practice. Okay, so back to this here, wireless tab. Click on the drop down list and select access point. Okay, change your SSD to whatever you want. I'm going to run mine as ADSL2. Hide the SSID. Um, I don't like other people being able to see the, the SSID itself because it's harder to guess the SSID and the password. Um, change your channel width down to 20 because 20 megahertz is what most uh, normal um, 802.11 devices will connect to. Um, leave everything else as standard. I've got my output power to maximum. Click on change. Just change only down here. Oh, sorry. Um, select your uh, security. And I'm going to go to um, WPA2AES, leave it at PSK, put a password in there. Okay. And then click change. And that actually doesn't, it, that doesn't write it to the router, it actually logs it, locks all the changes in. And we'll do the apply once at the end. So each tab you do the changes on. Um, okay, so we want to change. We want to leave that uh, network role as a as a bridge. Uh, leave it as simple, and I've got mine set up at static, and I've left it at uh, 192.168.1.20. I've got the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the gateway IP. If you remember, you might have seen it on my other device. It was um, 254. And I'll copy that and paste that in here for my first DNS IP address. Okay, ch hit select change. Um, leave advanced. I don't think you need anything here. Um, I'd no, that should be fine. And then services, leave that alone. System. So you've got everything ready to go. You've got your uh, station changed. I'll write it down just in case I forget. And then click on apply. And that'll apply everything to that device. It's going to reset it. Um, and because I've actually reserved the address on the router, you can actually set your network so that you can so it runs off DHCP, and that will connect directly to your uh, router that you've got connected in there. If you're going to do that, it need, you need to make sure that you be aware that when it reboots, it's not going to be able to pick up an address straight away. So you're going to have to power your router down that's connected to the internet, power that down. And then let it find the device and assign an IP address to it. Okay, so if I click on main there, oh, the other thing to do once you've done that reboot is you'll need to go into the main uh, Pico Station uh, Ubiquity tab and then just untick the um, EMAX enable. Click change and apply. And I'm going to log out of here.